What's up, bro? I'm a retail investor, bro. You know what I buy? Stuff that goes up a lot, bro. And then I look at past performance, bro, and I say I'm better and smarter than you, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. We got to talk about your dangerous exposure to large cap U.S. tech stocks, which most of you think you're exposed to at market cap weights because a lot of you own VOO, the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, and or VTI, if you own both, you're probably a clown, but okay, and VTI, which is the total U.S. stock market ETF, and you don't have VT and you don't have international stocks because you look at past performance. I, and I wish life was that easy. I really, I wish it was. I really wish it was. But we got to talk about your dangerous exposure to large cap tech, because not only are you heavily concentrated in large cap tech, but you're actually overly concentrated in large cap tech. Let me show you a beautiful example. Imagine you are a Finnish man. You're Finnish. You have, I don't know, pale skin and you look like a wolf. I don't know. <laughs> but you live in Finland. I'm just kidding. I don't know if Finnish people look like wolves. But you live in Finland and you're like, I like Finnish stocks, bro. Finnish stocks have the beach, bro. They only go up in vertical lines, bro, just like US stocks, bro. And you decide to buy a Finnish index, okay? Now, because you love Finnish stocks so much, Finland, bro, it's the future, bro. You go ahead and go all in Finland. Now, let's look at the top holdings of this ETF, okay? This is a Finnish MSCI Finland ETF. I wonder how many assets are actually in this. <laughs> the, whole, the largest holding is Nokia at 10.69% of the portfolio. Now, let's think about Nokia. What is Nokia's market capitalization? Nokia market cap. I bet you this is one of the smaller companies, okay? It doesn't even show its freaking market cap on here. Nokia is a very, 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 very tiny market cap company. You compare Nokia to Apple, Apple's like a colossus. Like imagine, uh, I don't know, an alien thing coming, from, like a Cthulhu coming from the ocean. That's Apple by market cap. And then Nokia is like a fly. Okay, that's Nokia. But if you only bought the Finnish index, you would actually be insanely massively overweight Nokia versus its actual market capitalization and size relative to the global market. Now, the market cap of a company is simply its share price times the number of shares outstanding. The bigger the company, the more valuable the company, the larger the market capitalization. Now, tell me, why would you put Nokia as 10% of your total portfolio if it was probably 0.0001% of VT or 001% of whatever other total world index you want to invest in? You wouldn't because you would be massively overweighting Nokia. But when you invest in one country stock market, you are massively overweighting the stocks in that stock market. Now, people laugh at strong, man, okay? Because they're like, you don't own tech stocks. Because they never looked at VT in their life. They're much, massive clowns. Massive clowns on YouTube. Anyway, they've never owned, or they've never looked at VT. And they don't understand that a lot of the performance of U.S. stocks has come from just a couple companies. And we know that because we can just look at the top holdings of VOO and VTI, and we can see some of the big daddies on there. Now, 2023, stunks have been going back up, okay? And VT has gone up too. I mean, it hasn't vertical lines like all you guys. You guys just get vertical lines all the time, you know? I, just, I get a slow, steady, 35-degree angle. But if we look at the performance of stunks in the S&P 500, right? We have this massive outperformance of six, big six tech stocks. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, this, that, that, Meta, whatever. All of those stocks have gone to the freaking moon in 2023. The rest of the S&P 500 hasn't done so hot. Now, what does that mean? That means the U.S. stock market is carried by a very few stocks. Now, that's historically been the case, okay? It, it, I'm not worried if these companies are the largest holdings in my ETF, which, oh, by the way, they are. I'm not worried about it because 
usually there's a couple large companies that tend to dominate a market cap weighted ETF. And if a company's pulling in massive profits, yeah, it probably should have more representation. There's a reason it's large. The reason you buy a total market ETF is because you don't really want to pick stocks. You let the market decide the weighting of the stock. But if you're buying a US only ETF, you're not doing that. You are massively overweighting these tech stocks. And a big part of your portfolio of your future is whether these stocks continue to outperform and don't somehow lag the rest of the index. It will hurt you more than somebody that is globally diversified. Let's compare VOO to VTI to VT. Here's VOO, VU, the S&P 500 ETF. Why do you people buy this? It went up a lot. You started investing in 2020 and you looked back at past. I know exactly what you did. I know exactly what you did. You looked at past performance and you said, wow, this one has a lot of growth. I'll show you some growth. And you went ahead and you bought VOO, which, you know, I'm not saying it's the worst ETF. Obviously, it's not a bad, it's not a horrible ETF. And this is a pretty significant part of uh, VT, probably like 50% of it, to be honest. But let's look at the top holdings. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, NVIDIA, Alphabet, Tesla, Alphabet, Meta, et cetera, et cetera. We all, these are all American companies, obviously. Apple's at 7.67%. Now, if you're just calm and you're not freaking out, and you understand a little bit how, about how market cap weighted indices work, it makes sense that the largest companies are more represented. And these are all massively profitable companies, except for Tesla <laughs> and NVIDIA. The odd man out. Hmm. But generally, the largest companies are more represented. But you're overexposed to these. You are not owning these at market cap weight. No, you are owning these at double their weighting maybe even triple in some scenarios, as opposed to what they should be weighted in your portfolio. I take you back to the Finnish example. I, I hope this is sinking in. If you bought Nokia, if you bought a Finnish ETF, and that was your entire portfolio because Finnish stocks go up in vertical lines, you would have 10.69% of your portfolio in Nokia. You'd be insanely overexposed. Because if you look at the world market, it's the world market ETF. You go down, and, oh my God, all the way down. Do you see Nokia anywhere on here? I bet you Nokia is like, I can't, I probably would have to scroll for like 20 minutes to find Nokia. Nokia is a insanely small company, but you have chosen to make the active decision to massively overweight it because it went up a lot. Well, not Nokia, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So going back to VOO, Apple is 7.67% of VOO. It's actual weighting, if you take the global investable market, is 4%. And as a fundamental, the fundamental core tenant of an index fund is that you buy things at market cap weights, at least a total market index fund, because you don't know which is going to outperform. And VT more approximates that, okay? Apple is closer to 4% of the global uh, investable, free float adjusted, whatever market, investable market cap of the global stock market than VOO, okay? It's almost double, double the representation. VT has Apple at 4%, and, and, uh, and VOO, it's at 7.67%. That would scare the crap out of me, personally, okay? Because number one, you're just overweighting just a couple of stocks massively, and number two, your performance chase. Now, I'm not scared that I, I don't care if Apple becomes 4%. If Apple became 10% of this, I wouldn't care because I'm owning it at its correct market capitalization weight. And if Apple became 10% of VT, well, guess what? Maybe that maybe it's making 10% of all the future profits going forever into the future. And if that's the case, fine. I don't got a problem with that. Okay. But what I do have a problem with is you thinking you're smart because you're overweighting stocks that went up a lot, a lot because that's what you're doing. You think you're a genius. <laughs> if you were born at a different period of time and you were investing at a different period of time, you would not potentially be going all in US stocks. You would probably find the thing that went up the most and you would buy that, okay? 
So I'm telling you, you are dangerously overexposed. Now you're going to hear like all this, like, oh, you know, maybe you shouldn't have big tech. I don't agree with it. I think you should have big tech. Okay. Maybe big tech massively benefits from all this AI crap. I'm not saying, it, I mean, they're great profitable companies that continue to grow. At least some of them do. Okay. I'm not against owning big tech. I think you should own it at market cap weights. It's true market cap weight or as, as close as you can actually realistically get as opposed to massively overweighting it in VOO. Even VTI, while it's less, it's still a higher percentage. It's like 50% higher than its actual weighting. So you are 50% overweighting Apple simply because I don't know. And that's after these the already lofty expectations that these companies have. Now, if there were stocks that were more likely to be overvalued, it's probably these. Pro I mean, maybe they're not overvalued. I'm not saying they necessarily are. But it's probably these. These are stocks that went up a lot that have stellar profits, that grow their profits steadily, that are stalwarts and that have carried the U.S. stock market. What is more likely to be overvalued just based on investor psychology? Probably these because everybody's piling into these because they went up a lot. That's how investing works. Stunk go up, people buy. Stunk go down, people sell. Okay? So you are massively overweight. Finish stocks, bro. Just by Finland, bro. It's a future for 10% Nokia, bro. <laughs> Imagine being 10% Nokia in your portfolio. All right. Let's see. Let's see some of the comments. Buh, 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 buh. It went up a lot, bro. And, and uh, uh, I buy stuff that goes up a lot. And you're stupid because you buy stuff that doesn't go up a lot. And uh, I'm better than you. I'm a real index investor. You're a fake index investor. Put your shirt on. Shut up. Kathy Wood bought over 10 million in hood shares. These Of course she did. I own Spuex instead of Spex. What is that? Spuex? Spexu? Spacu? It makes more sense to hold it instead of VOO. What is that? Let me go look at that. I don't even know what half this crap is. How many, what do people find? It? Oh, an equal weight? I don't like equal weights. I don't like equal weights. Equal weight is kind of like the finish example. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about that in another video. Jeremy is Homer Simpson, and strongman is Frank Grimy Grimes. Now tell me, how is Jeremy a fraud and bad investor when he was massively outperformed you and your whole crew the last five years and has provided a proof? He, he has. Obviously, he's beat, he's beat everybody. <laughs> Dude, look at these clowns, man. Ever considered selling merch? You could wear some of it during your streams. <laughs> I've tried to sell merch. I had like two sales. I mean, like 10 bucks. No, nobody wants my merch. Dude, when you beat Jerry for a brief moment just because the market crashed, he admitted his mistake and got better. Now he's destroying you, and you are still tarnishing his reputation because you're a loser and can't admit defeat like him. I, I, how much have you paid Jeremy? I'm serious. How much have you paid Jeremy LeFay? Keep paying him, please. When he starts a hedge fund, give him all your money. I beg you. I want your, I want your net worth to be annihilated. I want Jeremy to destroy your financial future. Please, I'm begging you, do it. His brand is no shirt, <laughs> of course. I mean, by now, I mean, you, you, you're really asking me to wear a shirt? Really? I have a feeling SPF probably will still outperform VT in the next decade as well. Maybe it will. <laughs> Maybe it won't. Where is that feeling coming from? It's very, it's a very hard thing to get over. It's, it's one of the, like, hardest things to get over is past performance. It is so difficult. You look at something. It went up a lot, and your brain says, because it happened in the past, it's going to happen because you're seeing a pattern. You're seeing, oh, stunk go up, and your brain, your little lizard brain is like, oh, well, it's going to keep going up. And then you you don't understand. You're like, why would you? Why is somebody not massively overweighting stocks that have already massively outperformed over the last decade, decade and a half? I don't understand. It takes time, man. You know, that's why I want, I want the U.S. stock market to just implode. I just like there's so many scams that get enabled by this market, the clown market. U.S. companies operate internationally. So, oh, and international companies operate in the U.S. Wow. Great argument. What did I miss you guys? What did I miss you guys? Dude, Jeremy lost millions on Tattoo Chef Planet. People that follow Jeremy. I don't know if that guy's a troll. He might be a troll. But like to, to seriously defend Jeremy, it's just it's weird. It's, it's very odd. Like. Out of all the people you respect and want to defend vociferously, Jeremy Lafave, 
I mean, like if I insulted like a national hero, right? People would probably get pissed and they would defend that hero. But to like come on my channel and just defend Jeremy Lafave, like he's just some freaking scam artist in uh, Las Vegas. Like, really? You're that passionate about Jeremy Lafufu? That'll be another video. Jeremy got decimated. Anybody who knows this, look, he, look, this person is stupid. All right, this, this per if he if this is a real person that's not a troll, he's he's stupid. Okay, I mean, like at some point. I want this man, if this is really, if this is not a troll, I want him to give, I hate these people. I want him to give all his money to Jeremy when Jeremy starts a hedge fund. And I just want him to just trust Jeremy. And I, I really hope this guy loses everything and ends up selling his butt. You lose some stocks, you win some stocks. It's called diversification. Jeremy still has better winners than losers. <laughs> I don't know if this guy is a troll. I can't figure it out. <laughs> I'm waiting for any of you idiot to show proof of a five-year return from their broker like Jeremy did. But none of you want to embarrass yourselves. I've shown my return since 2012. It's it's the index. I've shown it. <laughs> and mine's not manipulated. What reason would I have to manipulate an index's return? I don't. Because <laughs> it's an index. Oh, I beat the market. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm top heavy big tech. Everybody is. Everybody, just buy big tech, bro. Like, oh man, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. You know what? Maybe I'm just a moron. Not only should am I wrong for owning big tech at its true market cap weights, I should be all in big tech. Maybe it's going to go up in a vertical freaking line forever into the future. And international is going to go to zero. That's what I should do. Buy large cap tech. It went up a lot. It really is that simple. It's really that simple. It, it, no. What am I doing? Why, am I, why do I have you just, just buy QQQ, bro? That's all that matters. Cla I, God, I hate investing. Apples. No, it'll keep going up. Trust me. It's, it's, it's our cap tech, bro. It always goes up. Buy the dip. Vertical lines. Oh, Palantir. God, the scam stock. What do you want me to do? My employer owe me via the rest of some mutual fund. I mean, if that's all you got, that's all you got. I mean, an index, even a U.S. index is still better than some freaking clownish uh, actively managed fund. Jeremy has more than one account. Look, this guy's a – this guy, he, uh, I, he's got to be he, – he, I don't know if people – can people really be this stupid? Oh, wait. Yes, they can. This guy, I think this guy's a troll, this David Kelly guy. He moves the lower cost in the public account and the highest cost in the public one. He doesn't show all his accounts returned. Do you need me to come debate you and embarrass you straight from Jeremy's group? I want you to email me. I, and I, I, I will not reveal your identity. I want you to email me proof that you are actually in Jeremy's group. And if you don't eat, if you come on another live stream and you keep talking all this trash, I will ban you. Show me the proof that you are in Jeremy's group. And if you want to, if you want to debate me, you got to pay me a hundred bucks, hundred dollars. Cause you've made so much money in Jeremy's group. Obviously, you can afford to give me a hundred bucks, just a hundred bucks. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you've made millions in Jeremy's group. You can pay me a hundred bucks and I will debate you on Jeremy financial education. Okay. But you need to email me proof that you're in the group. And if you don't, I'm going to block you. Other than part of his, uh, what winners did Jeremy hit? Okay. This guy's just a clown. I think your mistake is calling VU teams stupid and potentially pushing them the same category as stock pickers. They are. They're, they're not as – they're they're not – okay, you're not stupid buying VU. I'm not going to say that. But I think you're making the same mistakes that retail makes. It's a very retail thing. Buy the thing that went up the most. This is a very simple concept. You don't just buy things that go up a lot, Okay. Maybe you think it's going to go up a lot more in the future, and maybe you have a good thesis behind that. But that's not what these people are doing. They're not. They're buying it because it went up a lot. I can 100% guarantee you I did the same thing. Well, I did. But when I, when I used to look at ETFs, I'd be like, oh, what's the uh, – oh, how much did it go up? And I'd look at it and be like, oh, wow, look at that. Well, this one's better because it went up a lot. And it's like <laughs> that's what they're doing. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Anyone who destroyed? No, I'm serious. Send me proof. 
and then you pay me 100 bucks because you're rich because you give Jeremy all your money. You, you probably pay Jeremy five grand. So you must be rich. You must be making so much money after giving Jeremy all your money. Let's debate. Come on. 100 bucks. You're a dumb but strong man. You may not, you say not to look at past before, but they continue to say the past stock or the stock performed. You don't understand. You don't understand. I'm, I'm so, like, I've tried to, I'm not going to explain this again. VT is not a past performance ETF. VTI is a past performance ETF. VXUS is also a past performance ETF. Owning both of them at the same weight as VT is not past performance. You are owning the market at market cap weights. That is not performance chasing. <laughs> I don't think people don't understand. Like it's this scares me. Like this 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 is why I think US stocks like personally I think there's some kind of weird bubble going on. Personally. But that doesn't shape my what I do. It doesn't. But I personally in my core believe there's something off about US stocks. You are tarnishing someone's reputation purposely. Yeah, why would I do that? He's such a good guy. Why are you tarnishing his beautiful reputation? He just wants to scam people and have nobody call nobody call him out. Why would you call him out, strong man? Just let him scam. He's only ruining people's financial lives. It's not a big deal. Come on. Strong man opened two fidelity accounts to buy some VT to show what Jeremy is doing. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> I think I am going to do that. Dude, you are No, I want you to lose all your money. I want you cuz you are you are so if you're real, you are such a loser and you're so stupid. I want you to be financially decimated. I want you to die in poverty. I'm de if you really can defend that disgusting scam artist. This is like defending uh I don't know. I don't even want to say somebody's name from history that's bad because I'm like I'll probably get demonetized anyway. But it's like defending the most like odor, uh, nasty, disgusting, grimy people on the planet. Defending them. It's like, it, 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 it boggles my mind. I'm starting to dislike LaFoufa. You should. He's a disgusting, he is a, he is a sick person. Behind all the smiles and, hey guys, just Jeremy LaFoufa. There was a rotten heart there. So many blocked by Jeremy. He truly has... <laughs> David Kelly's a lafufu. I hope it is. I'm waiting for many of your crew. Can Capital Mindset show? <laughs> oh, now he's going after Fabio. <laughs> Look, everybody in my crew has destroyed Jeremy. Fabio, who's a stock picker, has destroyed Jeremy. Uh, uh, Jay Nagy, who's basically like kind of like me, has destroyed Jeremy. I have destroyed Jeremy. Echoes has destroyed Jeremy. Cole, everybody destroyed Jeremy. Okay. If this is you, Jeremy, you know it. Just admit it. You are a scam artist. You are a nasty man. BS, you didn't show us you showed us ex what I literally took screenshots from my retirement. You people are stupid. I don't know. I don't like you people. Let's see. Do you invest in a very small amount of my portfolio? But I also have annuity bonds, multi-class equities, and CDs. I'm not a big fan of annuities, but I mean, I guess they have their purpose. Jeremy's public portfolio doesn't show realized gains or more importantly, it doesn't show realized losses. So ignore all his realized and focus on paper gain and loss. Look, uh, uh, we all know it's manipulated. Whatever he's doing, after all the losses he suffered, where he admitted he lost $3 million, which, oh, by the way, David, let's listen to this. Let's listen to it. Just listen very carefully, okay? Look how much his portfolio is up this year, right? And then listen to this from the man's mouth. Where is it? Where did I put it? It doesn't exist. Here we go. Since this time last year, I am down not 1 million, not 2 million, but $3 million. And, um, you know, I'm down over $1 million in the chef. Over $1 million dollars if you add up all my different accounts um as you're seeing there you know basically lost everything in the stock uh 200 that's a quarter million dollars and then a much smaller position in my public account this is my main private account which obviously is much bigger. 
Listen to that last part. In his in his private account, he had a massive loss. What do you think he's been doing in that secret account that nobody sees? I bet you he was massively in tattooed butthole. Massively in a butthole. He lost $3 million. And you really think he is beating the market? How stupid can you be? God. But, 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 but Strongman doesn't wear a shirt. <laughs> Let's see. But please, Stephen Mark. Oh, that clown. Just jumped on the Tesla train. Not even early. And he is worse than Jeremy. Look, uh, like people are like, why do you hate U.S. stocks strong? Like, there's there's so much clownery in this stock market. I mean, I'm sure there's clownery in other stocks. Maybe because I just I pay more attention to U.S. stocks. There is so much clownery that goes on. It, I hate it. I hate the stock market. I hate investing. Okay. I like looking at financial statements. I like doing accounting. But holy crap, do I hate invest. I hate stocks. I hate them because there's so much scamming going on. Let's see. Somebody's texting me. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's go back and find this. Somebody just texted me. Jeremy, is this you? Jeremy. Is this you? Jeremy, come come on my channel. Let's come right now. If you're such a great investor, just come on and debate me. Let's go. Oh, we got you. We got you, boy. Nothing gets by the real rabble. <laughs> Actually, we really I have a big suspicion this is Jeremy. I'm not even joking. Jeremy, you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of trash. Go fuck yourself. You're a, you're, f oh, I fucking hate you. There you go. That's what I think about you. Demonetize me. I don't care. Strong man, Jeremy made me millions. <laughs> I almost said stuff I shouldn't have said. VT is 60% US, but guess it has more stocks. Uh, it does. Let's see. Okay, that's why I saw his shit. Okay, so he's blasting Fabio, right? Let's say, let's say hypothetically Fabio is a fraud. Let's say 100, everything's made up, okay? That still doesn't alleviate Jeremy being a fraud, okay? It's like deflection. It's like, well, this person did this, so I'm not a fraud. <laughs> Jeremy, well, this is you. I, this, I think this is Jeremy, guys. Somebody just sent me proof. I think this is Jeremy. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it is. Oh my God. Jeremy, you're such a loser. Why do you think Jeremy has a filter? Just, man, if you're going to age, just age. Okay. Like me and Jeremy are both the same age. I'm, I'm turning 34 next month. Okay. We're not like super young. We're not old, but we're not young. Okay. It doesn't just age, just age gracefully. Be a man. You don't need to put a filter on your face. Okay. Just, you're going to get older. That's just how life works. We all born, we grow up, and then we die. And we scam throughout our lives. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let me take a screenshot of this. <laughs> All right, LeFouFou commenting. I got to say that. I actually have folders for all these people now because I used to – I always forget what these people do. I literally have folders where whenever they do something really scammy <laughs> – because like a lot, what people will do is they'll delete it. They will delete all of their stuff, and they'll be like, it never happened, just like Jeremy with his freaking uh, VT versus uh, U.S. stocks or VT versus his individual stocks. He just deletes it from his videos. He's like, it never happened. I, I beat the market, bro. <laughs> I would like to text you during live. You don't. You don't want to text me. I don't answer my texts. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow, this stream just went from 
bashing Vu to another Jeremy H stream. Who cares if Fabio's a fraud? His is the only YouTube finance channel my wife will watch with me. <laughs> Mine too. It's like, Chris, it's Fabio. Did he make a new video? <laughs> yeah, no, honey, he didn't. Can you make a video comparing any five-year period where VT destroyed VU? Okay, look. V, okay, go look at international versus U.S. overtime. Okay? My simple argument is that your performance, Chase. And you are overweight large cap tech. By in, in inherently owning VOO, you are massively overweight large cap tech. You don't own them at market cap weights. You are massively overweight. And that's all I'm saying. Let's see. SoFi C is is Anthony Noto. I think that's his name. Is Anthony Noto watching my channel right now? Hey, you made fun of SoFi. You said it was unprofitable. And then it went up in a straight line, vertical line. You're stupid. When are you going to get ripped? Never. I have two kids, okay? I have an excuse to be fat. I'm considering starting. Me too. Let's all just start a hedge fund. That's creepy like a hoarder. You have files. You, look, you got to track these people, man. I'm not saying like I'm not like tracking their personal lives. But like if I see a stupid comment from them or if I see a video that's like really scammy, I'll screenshot it and put it away because they will delete the evidence and they will pretend it never happened. Case in point, Chris Norland, massive scamming clown, deleted everything or tried to at least. All the scammery he did, all the disgusting things he did, he deleted it all. Luckily, people took screenshots. <sighs> this turned out it did. <laughs> it always turns into a LeFouFou stream. <laughs> Notice how David Kelly has not responded after the LaFufu suspicion. <laughs> you, like, that's how you know I'm right, is when Jeremy, Jeremy's so bothered by me that he has to make an alt account. And as soon as I go live, he's on my videos. But strong, man, U.S. stocks are a, 40, a 45 degree angle, bro. 45 degrees. Let's go look at it, actually. You want to see a 45 degree angle? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's see. VTI. All right, let's pull. Let's pull up this forty-five degree angle. <laughs> but strong man, okay. Look, look at this strong man. You're really stupid, okay? See this? Forty-five. Ain't measure it. Forty-five degrees. Forty-five degrees, bro. <laughs> just buy it. It'll just go up forever, just like this, bro. <laughs> Even here, forty-five degrees. Everything's forty-five degrees. Craziness. I mean, honestly, I hope it does, because then I would benefit too. But <laughs> this is what this is all they look at. Oh, hold on, Q Q Q, Q Q Q. Where's Q Q Q? Oh, look at those gains! Whoa, look at that! It just goes up at a forty-five degree angle, bro. <laughs> oh man, would you fight Lafoot? Yeah, I would. 100%. Strong man, where are you from? I don't have a hometown. I'm, I'm a I'm a grift. I'm a drifting grifter. Let's see. Jeremy literally showed me a screenshot proving his net worth is more than the GDP of at least 120 countries. <laughs> oh, God. David Kelly's still here. I can tag. Yeah, he always oh, he's, he's brooding in silence right now. <laughs> Oh, what should I say? They they caught me. Oh my God! Did they find out it was me? My alt account. Whoa! All right. Everything goes up at forty five. That's true. See, I intentionally buy stuff that underperforms. I sit. I sat down. I was like, you know what? I don't want to be. I don't want to be wealthy. I want to be a broke idiot. What should I buy that is going to ensure that everybody else gets rich, but I'm just a broke little loser? I'll just buy VT. What is the worst ETF I could possibly buy? I'm going to buy. That's literally what I, that was my whole thought process. Okay. That's why I have VT. Strongman is from China. <laughs> yeah, I'm Chinese. hundred percent. What are your thoughts? Trash. Let's see. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised either. 
All right, guys, let's end with the Jeremy outro, and then I need to get out of here. I'm sweating my nuts off. Cheers! Oh, 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 Merry Stock Market. Oh, man. Woo!